Hilda is a national survey that has tracked households in every city since 2001, measuring income, poverty, and welfare reliance among a variety of other indicators. But for the first time this year, the report breaks down that data to city and regional levels. Let's start with income. As we can see, every city enjoyed healthy increases through to about 2009, around the time the global financial crisis hit. But from then on, everywhere but Perth either plateaued or actually went down. We've left Darwin and Canberra off the chart here, as the Hilda release doesn't separate their data out. Sydney fared the worst from this impact, with only 13.5% growth from 2001 to 2015, dropping from the wealthiest mainland capital to third last. Urban Tasmania, which groups all of Tasmania's urban areas together, remains at the bottom of the pack, but it still experienced a growth of 21.2% overall despite a post-2010 downturn. Perth incomes, meanwhile, have exploded with a growth of 52.4%. So what about poverty? It's mostly good news. The percentage of people in income poverty, those with incomes less than 50% of the median income, has decreased overall and across all cities. Adelaide had the biggest change, with a drop of 8% over the 14-year period. Urban Tasmania maintains the highest percentage of people in poverty, but has experienced a decrease from almost 21% of the population to 15%. Sydney's flatlining incomes, however, have also translated to its income poverty rate, with a decrease of only 1.2% across the period. And that's also playing out in its welfare alliance. Sydney is the only capital city that has seen welfare alliance increase since 2001 with most others experiencing moderate decreases, and Adelaide and Perth seeing the biggest change. 